Tonight, one Kansas City, Kansas family is questioning why their house was fired at multiple times on Christmas Eve. Patricia Panion died in her living room watching TV with her husband. Her family members had already gone home for the night. Abby Dodge spoke with them before their planned vigil tonight. Abby. Well, Brad, the Panion family never expected to see police lining the streets of their home here in Kansas City, Kansas. It's a quiet street. Four houses around here are all filled with relatives of Patricia. And by the showing of people that have been coming and going tonight, you can tell that they are missing quite a vital piece. I thought my heart gonna stop. Vera Stitmek is Patricia Panion's sister-in-law. She lives right across the street. Here, boom, 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 boom. I thought maybe cargo with a bad muffler on the street. I didn't think something like that. On Christmas Eve, she walked out to find her brother in the hospital and her sister-in-law dead. Watching my sister-in-law take her dead down, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Leaving a family without a wife, mom, and grandmother. Just, just think about that. On Christmas Eve, they went in a neighborhood and shot up a house. Do we want those people walking out here on the streets among us? No, we do not. Police Chief Carl Oakman says they don't know why someone shot at the house. With just a quick look, you can see at least 15 bullet holes. It is, it is awful. It is awful. They have to, I hope they find them till they pay for that. And to help police find who did this, if you know anything about what happened here on Christmas Eve, call the TIPS hotline. That number is 816-474-TIPS. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News. So sad, so tragic. Abby, thank you.